Before we get into this one, just a very quick shout out to Jordan. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel at God tier level. And without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back to Breakpoint. In this video, I want to see if it's actually worth grinding to level 10 for the Assault class just to get the Aug Assault. If we have a look at the challenges and we scroll down, you can see it's there. Weapon unlocked, Aug Assault. You get the weapon and you get the blueprint. I did a video for how to kill six enemies in one use of true grit. But there is also another challenge that people are getting stuck on. And that is to kill 40 enemies without dying, which is also a level 9 challenge. I struggled with it as well. I believe it's bugged. The way I got it to work was literally running around in the open world, doing a bit of free roam. Do not enter a menu at all. Literally just run around and kill 40 enemies because whenever I picked up a piece of gear, I was going into my loadout, changing it. I was looking at the map for different possible areas of enemies and it just didn't trigger. So I literally went on a killing spree, killed 40 enemies. It finally counted, challenge complete. If that doesn't work, I'm sorry, but I don't know any other way to get around it. At the moment, if I do find anything, I will be sure to let you know. So what I've done is I've got the standard org and the org assault. I've crafted them both a 221 gear score. Bear in mind, they do have different perks that come with them. The org has range. The org assault has accuracy and handling. But if you look at the stats here, I'll put them both on screen now on the left and right so that you can see the stats side by side so it's easier to compare the two they have pretty much everything is the same like the damage is 32 i believe that's the fire rate is 680 the reload speed is 3.5 seconds they both hold 556 and they have a 30 round mag you'll see on the stats that the plus 20 range is actually like it seems as though it's a lot more than plus 20 i don't know if the standard org has a little bit more range by default and then the increases in the accuracy and handling on the Org Assault don't seem that much better than the normal. The differences in both of these in terms of actual gunplay is the standard Org can use semi-auto and it can go full auto. The Org Assault is three round burst or full auto. There's no semi-auto on the Assault. Also, you cannot put a suppressor on the Assault variant of the gun. You can on the standard, not on the Assault. So what we're going to do is, I've got both guns equipped, they've both got the white camo. I'm going to start, I'm going to keep the suppressor off so it's like fair because I believe the suppressor decreases damage a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to look for patrols of enemies. We all know this game is like a one or two shot headshot so I'm not going to go for headshots to test the power differences because if we quickly take one more look, we're going to the gunsmith. For the Aug Assault, it's the Assault variant, it's got tougher recoil and higher power so it should deal more damage than the standard org. So I'm going to test against two of the same enemies, and hopefully we see an actual difference in these guns. Because it's a grind to get to level 10 for any class, let alone at, like Assault. So I'm hoping the grind is actually worth it with the gun. Also, whilst we're out looking for enemies, I plan to cover some, like, there's some actual decent video ideas I have. I think I'm about 70% or so through the campaign. I'm at a 221 gear score, so I'm not too far off the max. Once I've completed the campaign, we're going to do a video going through every single signature weapon. Some of them look amazing. We'll also be covering, I'm going to do a gear score guide, how to get through the gear score faster. There are some other ideas I have, and I've also done a decent amount of videos before this one, so if you're new around the channel, you haven't seen much of my Breakpoint content, there is a playlist either on the end screen, or if you just go to the channel, you'll find the playlist there. We found our first group of enemies. One, two. Okay, so that's a two shot to around the stomach sort of area. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four shots to the same area, I very nearly died. The first gun we used was the standard, the second was the assault. And the assault took four bullets to kill the enemies with stomach shots. The standard took two rounds. So what I'm going to do with this group down here, I'm hoping there's just two enemies. The enemies should have the same sort of health, even if they're a different type. So I'm going to try leg shots. If I stop sliding, please stop sliding, I'm going to die because of this. Oh my god! Alright, in a bit.
Thanks, Ubisoft Paris. I appreciate it. Please, hashtag fix the sliding. Okay, I have the standard equipped first. Leg shots. One, two. That one was four. One, two, three, four. Well, that was five shots, but four hit. So let me, let me see if it's a two shot with the standard org again. Come on, jump out. One, two, three, four. Switch gun. One, two, three, four. I want to do one more test with the standard. Stand up. Sometimes it's two shots, sometimes it's four. But every single enemy has taken four with the assault variant. It's supposedly got more recoil, more power, yet it doesn't actually seem any stronger. I know they've got the same damage numbers and stuff. Last test, because I am confused. That was four. Okay, so typically they are the same, but sometimes, like a couple of times, you guys would have seen that the standard org has killed in two rounds. So I'm going to do one last test, and that is going to be recoil. I need to find a building of some sort. I'm going to empty a mag without touching my right analog stick, so no aiming. Just spray an entire mag with both guns separately and see the differences in recoil. It's probably best to do this in a compound, but I'm not going to take one of them out just to test the recoil. Ah, we could even do it here. So if I just... I'm going to stand here. I'm going to start here. This is the... We're going to do it with the standard one first. Okay, so it goes up and right, then left a little bit, then right, and it, it goes up fairly high. So starting at the same point, just a little bit further along, this is the assault variant. It's supposed to have tougher recoil. Oh my god. It comes off the rock. So the vertical recoil is a lot faster. It seems to have the same horizontal pattern. It just feels as though that vertical is like double the speed. So that was weird. I wasn't expecting to have a result like that. I was kind of hoping the Org Assault had more differences than just shooting straight up into the sky. From this, I don't know if it's going to be worth the grind for the other classes. I will try all of them eventually when I get around to them because I've not actually started on the other classes yet. I've stuck to Assault the whole time, but I will get around to it. I will do it. We'll test the other classes for their guns. I'm so glad they didn't see me. But from this, I would definitely rather just go and find the org blueprint in the game. Like, obviously, I've got it. But I'd rather go get the org, just craft that, because it can go semi-auto, full auto. You can equip a suppressor, so it's good for stealth. And it really doesn't have any differences to the assault. Just easier to control recoil, which is a bonus. So that's my testing done. If you guys have tried both of them, let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.